Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is June 21st, and we are going to look at the chart of Bitcoin. We are going to look at the technical analysis of Bitcoin, but you need to know that I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So basically, Bitcoin is currently at 32,706. Uh, the market is open, of course. So uh, this is the first time I am doing a uh, technical analysis for Bitcoin. I usually do a daily technical analysis for Tesla and also Palantir. So uh, please tell me if you want me to do more. This is the first video I'm doing. So please like, subscribe and comment. And uh, if I see that I have enough traction, then I'm going to keep doing it. Maybe daily also. So basically, uh, let's go to the uh, weekly chart so that we have a overall overall sense of where Bitcoin is going. So basically, uh, from the weekly chart, we see that we have been uh, in a bull market since uh, September of last year. Look at this year. Uh, the uh, red line here is the resistance. Uh, the support line is in green. So the stock uh, hit support on December 14th, went to the resistance around uh, January 4th, then went back to the support not too, uh, not too long after on February 1st, and then kept going back and forth between the two and sometimes uh, breaking resistance for a little while. So basically, uh, with Bitcoin, we are in a downtrend since, uh, let me try to find exactly when this is April. I need to get rid of my little pen here. So since uh, April 12th, where we had the uh, all time high, let me go back to my little pen. So basically we are in a downtrend with Bitcoin. Downtrend is right here. But what is nice is that the downtrend, whoops, the downtrend has stopped right here. It stopped here at the exact number at, uh, at 30,938. So 30,938 is the support in my opinion. So if uh, Bitcoin breaks, breaks that support, then uh, obviously Bitcoin is going lower. But so far Bitcoin is in a congestion. So between 30,938 and 40,650. So it's it's staying put, put between uh, these two numbers. If I go back to the daily chart, we are going to see it in more detail. So basically we are we are going back and forth support resistance sometimes we don't go back to that support and we go back up and sometimes we don't go as high as the official resistance but nonetheless basically the stock is going between these two lines in terms of the stochastic the stochastic is super low so the stochastic is an indicator of the strength in the stock or the chart and here, uh, this, is, this does not bode very well. There is not much strength in the stock. It can still rebound as we have seen here. The stochastic was still low and the, and the Bitcoin was still rebounding. We had a high stochastic here that coincided with this run up to the, um, the resistance. And you need to keep in mind that lines the resistance lines, the support lines, also called trend lines, are more important than the indicators that you get uh, below. So uh, even though the um, the uh, stochastic was super high at 95 right here, the resistance was stronger. So um, so. Stochastic is not super high, so I don't think we are going to get uh, very soon and another run to the resistance. In terms of the MACD, the MACD turned positive on May 31st. And now it's looking like it's going to turn. Let me see the numbers minus. So it's still it's still positive, but uh, it's about to turn uh, bearish, 
and the DMI when the red line is above the green line it means that this is basically a bear trend so we started the bear trend based on the DMI at well on April uh, 18th of this year and the DMI was right because it just went down the hill from there so right now uh, right now things are not looking uh, super good for Bitcoin um, our indicators are all bearish so the only thing that is keeping Bitcoin from falling is the resistance here at 30,938 so a couple of things uh, might happen so Bitcoin might be rebounding on this and going to retest uh, this and this is this is a nice proposition if you are owning if you own Bitcoin this is what you want Bitcoin to do and uh, also if you own Bitcoin you need to be careful if Bitcoin is going to cross 30,938 this is the number to remember 30,938 if Bitcoin goes lower then um, we don't know where it's gonna go it's gonna go lower another another support that I can see here we have we have a nice support at 19,000 this is a bit low and we have another support at 24,400 so basically uh, you need to make your own decision if you want to keep it or sell it but basically we are in a congestion zone right now and um, I don't see in the near future uh, anything uh, super exciting. We also have a another resistance that's right here. So this is a steeper resistance. So um, it would be nice if Bitcoin would would break that resistance also. So so we have a resistance like this. This is this is a more short term resistance. So so Bitcoin might be breaking that a lot sooner obviously than than this bigger one here but um so far um so far it's not looking uh, super good in the short term so tell me in the comments below if you like this type of analysis if uh, if it is helping you make uh, decisions if I see that I have enough uh, subscribers and uh, people that like and comment, I will consider making a Bitcoin uh, test technical analysis video every single day. So let me know. And until then, I'm going to wish you a great evening. And maybe we are going to talk tomorrow. And I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.